So first of all, I, I want to start talking about the casting. Um, uh, Heinz, who plays Robert, and Barjom Muldin, who plays Abid. How did you find them? Uh, I was lucky that at the time when I was casting, there was a theater company uh, founded by uh, a colleague of mine, Hilde Dalik, uh, an actress, and she was working with uh, refugees and, uh, and, and different uh, ethnic groups in Vienna, uh, including refugees on a theater project. Uh, and within this uh, theater project, there were many uh, uh, young men from Afghanistan, and so I, uh, uh, I, I called uh, Hilde Dalik, and she, she asked uh, them who wants to uh, go to a casting. And so I got uh, um, almost a dozen of uh, young male uh, uh, Afghanistan uh, persons who had a little experience, uh, both with German language and stage experience. He's incredible in the film. Yes, he is. Nevertheless, uh, there is nothing uh, about experience. He has uh, really uh, such a, an, an enormous uh, natural talent and uh, um, feeling for for moments, for uh, for pace, for 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 forgetting everything around him but uh, his uh, partner or the the scene, uh, which is really. It, it, it reminds me uh, on my first movie when I, uh, my main character was a young guy who was, had no acting experience at all. Uh, so uh, um, I'm, I'm quite lucky to find uh, uh, those, those talents uh, really on the street, more or less. At the beginning, you spoke a little bit about how you had the idea for a man and his dog and about the politics that came together. Could you talk about when the story of Ulysses came to you? I found that to be such a fascinating part of your film. Um, I don't know when it came together in, uh, into the, th uh, the story. This Ulysses uh, theme uh, um, is um, following me almost um, my whole life, I I I, uh, I I got a book when I was around ten, uh, Odyssey for children and Ilias and Odyssey uh, for 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 children, and I was was especially fascinated by the character of uh, Odysseus, Ulysses, and uh, and um, when I when I wrote uh, the screenplay and it got more and more to this theme of uh, neglecting your uh, personality uh, uh, for what reasons ever, uh, it, it came back into my mind, this story, and, uh, and uh, yeah, it came all uh, quite easily for me, uh, yeah. Uh, one more question for me. I, you're a very political person, as I know, and this is a very political film, and of course, Austria isn't exactly the most left-wing country currently politically. Not anymore. Not anymore. Could you talk a little bit about getting this film made in Austria? Was that difficult for you? Uh, it was difficult, but I don't think uh, because of political reasons. I, I think uh, many people in the public fundings, and there is only public funding, in, especially in Austria. There are no private funded or commercial uh, uh, movie productions. Uh, it, it has both its advantages and, uh, and, and, and darker sides, but there are more advantages, I think, because I don't think that a movie like this uh, would be so easily made in, 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 in many other countries uh, in the world. So I'm really grateful for, for this funding system. Uh, but it was not easy to get this story through because many people didn't believe in that this story could work, that it could really find uh, an audience uh, and uh, had any real political or actual relevance, uh, or they were too afraid about, I don't know, because you never get the true uh, arguments when uh, after the end of a jury meeting, mm -hmm. they tell you yes in normally or no, mm -hmm. and, uh, and you don't know the real uh, reasons. But I don't think that in this case it wa uh, were political reasons. Mm -hmm. uh, but it took me more than two years to get the, uh, this, this film funded, mm -hmm. uh, which was, uh, was the reason that the 
main character, for the, the, the older actor, I originally uh, uh, have casted, uh, he couldn't play uh, the role because he, he was too weak. He had oh, wow. n not enough energy for this character anymore. He, he told me I would have tried with him, but he said, I'm, I'm sorry, but I'm not able to play this mm. character anymore, which was quite difficult for us because two weeks before we wanted to start shooting, I had to, to cast the main oh. character. Yeah. And uh, this is another unbelievable uh, moment of, of fortune, or mm. I don't know, fate, that we really found uh, um, uh, uh, this, this uh, wonderful actor, uh, Herbert Trixner. Oh. Heinz Trixner, I'm sorry. <laughs> When I saw this film, I was sitting alone in a cinema and I started screaming and people had to run in to see if I was okay. So I imagine that some of you might be in shock right now, but perhaps we could take some questions from the audience. You are the very first audience in the world to see this film. So we would love to hear your thoughts. Yes. Huge fan of the film, mm -hmm. but do you think that maybe the there was too much blood in cutting of the film, too gory? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. I, I really don't, because, uh, to be honest, when I was writing, I thought, uh, when, I, when I tell this story, it's the only way I can tell the story. You, there would be many ways to tell it, but when I would tell it, I, I have to tell it like that. Mm -hmm. And it's the minimum of moments uh, where I I felt I have to show uh, the process because I, I cannot always talk about because this is all what the movie is about that we hide our eyes we close our eyes towards things that are where we find no words or they are too terrible and in some moments we 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 have we have to look or at least we have to to accept that we are able to make the decision to leave uh, the screening room mm -hmm. uh, and to think afterwards that I am in the position that I am able to leave, uh, but uh, other persons or people are not able to, to leave anything like that. Uh, and so for me, it was the minimum of, uh, I, I, had, I had the feeling I, had, I have to show to be truthful uh, uh, to myself and to my story. More questions from the audience? Yes. The question is, what was driving the main character to help? Was it his past as a paramedic? Was it him in this moment? In my movie. Uh, and I mean in my movie, which I, is the way I see this movie, is the, the answer that he wanted to make something uh, um, uh, it, it's sort of uh, the effort of remorse for something he did in the past which completely goes in, 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 into a, a wrong way because you cannot make things good from the past in the present. So it's both you, 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 you have problems in, in the present you want to, to solve with your uh, bad conscience of, of, of the past which, can, which cannot work. Uh, and it, it was a little bit like when I started to write the story, I wanted to tell a story about a man who tries to, one, his last thing he wants to do in the world is try to behave like a good person try to behave like i i do really everything right i take the decision and responsibility for other people but it's too late because it's from its bad conscience of the past uh, which was too terrible and there was there's a too big amount of remorse to be able to be solved in the present Yes. I appreciate that redemption story and the metaphor of the, the larger of the spirit of the world and not walk away. But in the middle of that, you actually had a homicide of this veterinarian. Um, which is a little more present than having worked in the camp. So how do you mix that in with the redemption story? 
the question is, how do you mix in the homicide of the veterinarian with the redemption story? Can you discuss that choice? Um, many people, uh, uh, when, when at the beginning when they read the script, had really big problem with this uh, with this uh, murder uh, of 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 the vet, and like the blood, I knew I needed it to show there is a man who is able to kill still in his age, age uh, uh, despite his age. He's strong enough to even to start digging uh, a hole. He's strong enough under certain circumstances to kill a person. And it's not only about redemption and feeling sentimental regrets about the past. Maybe he did really bad things. I wanted him not to be uh, a late victim or you know to feel too too much pity for him in the end i needed him to be uh an animal as well i wanted to show this animal people can get under cer under certain uh, conditions I've, it was so powerful the way his character was revealed throughout the film. I'm curious, did you film chronologically the story? Yes, almost. Almost. Um, we were lucky that we uh, we had the possibility to ch all all, all uh, inside shots where uh, were in the studio. So we built this uh, allotment, this small cabin or house we uh, we we had in, in the studio, which was quite important because we we have this. Uh, uh, we have this wide uh, angle format, the scope format, so we needed to make everything a little bit big, bigger, not only for the lightning and for, for the crew, but also for the for the cadrage. Uh, but in general, we were shooting uh, chronologically, which was important both for, for especially for the actors, uh, and uh, I think for the dynamic of uh, of the of the storytelling. Yes. How did you develop the theme of nobody, and when did you realize it connected to the story of Ulysses? It was uh, in an early stage of writing the story that when I came to this uh, to this moment where I I tried to show a little piece of his past where he tells this story, I immediately knew that it has something to do with something he doesn't understand really completely but fascinates him uh, and and uh, and in this moment I was uh, it for me it was clear that it's not only this but it's the big European story of of culture of storytelling Homer is the beginning of 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 of, of human uh, classic literature and uh, and storytelling and uh, in a way of movie making in 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 the head uh, and and so it was i like playing and it was more playing with it than uh, a, a moment of a uh, conscient a conscient uh, 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 storytelling it was more the the joy of playing with this with this classic uh, classic theme uh, in this non classic Environment of an allot allotment and uh, a guy who, uh, who 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 fled his home uh, country and and so on and so forth. It's obvious. Uh, I'm sorry. This this isn't a film for the faint-hearted, but it is an important film that should be seen and discussed. And it is screening two more times. Unfortunately, that's all the time we have. I would like to keep speaking with you all evening. I love the way your brain works. I love your filmmaking. Thank you so much for coming to Toronto. Thank Tell your you friends and family. Me. Thank you all. Thank you.